Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I am discussing some important questions asked in different examinations and this is very useful and this is very useful to various examinations like IIT JAM, CSR, NET, KSET, APSET and many uh, state entrance and uh, MSc entrances. Okay, this is the post question. Uh, define f n is equal to x square by 1 plus x square whole power of n and x is real uh, n is equal to 0, 1 to 1, so 1. Then for x not equal to 0 and summation n is equal to 0 to infinity, f n of uh, x is equal to they ask the value of uh, uh, this um, this and now we have to find the uh, value of uh, this this is the uh, very simple problem and this seems to very difficult but uh, this is very uh, simple first of all if any uh, series problem is given and we have to find the converging value first of all we have to do first we have to do uh, you have to ex expand the given series first of all okay this is the solution fn of uh, fn is equal to x square by 1 plus x square whole power of n uh, and uh, summation n is equal to 0 to infinity fn of x is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to infinity in place of fn of x we put the this value x square by 1 plus x square whole power of n uh, and first of all we have to expand this Okay, in place of uh, we take n is equal to 0, we get x square plus n is equal to 1, we get x square by 1 plus x square and n is equal to 2, we get x square by 1 plus x square whole square plus and so on. We take the x square common, we get 1 plus 1 by 1 plus x square plus 1 by 1 plus x square whole square plus and so on. And we know that sum of infinite geometric series, summation n is equal to 0 to infinity, a into r4 of n is equal to a plus a r plus a r square plus and so on. This is converging to a by 1 minus r, here a is first term and r is ratio okay and if uh, r is uh, mod of r is less than 1 and divergent if r is greater than 1 okay here what is r value here r value is uh, here r is equal to 1 by 1 plus x square we take any two uh, uh, two terms uh, uh, ratio we get 1 by 1 uh, 1 by 1 plus x square only okay we take these two terms uh, we take the ratio of these two terms we get again 1 by 1 plus x square okay therefore then r is equal to 1 by 1 plus 1 by 1 plus x square and a is a uh, 1 okay and um, and um, we we also know that this is less than 1 only okay because x is not equal to 0 they given and uh, uh, if we take any value of x, x is equal to plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, x, except 0, we take uh, any value, we get again, we get uh, less than 1 only, because here uh, x square is even, uh, even term, uh, even power is there, we take minus, well, that is converting into plus only, okay, that's why this is uh, less than 1 only, then uh, this is converging to a by 1 minus r. Therefore, x square uh, into 1 by, here a value is 1, uh, 1 by 1 minus r value is 1 by 1 plus x square. We solving, uh, we get 1 plus uh, 1 plus x square. Okay, then which option is correct? Option D is the correct option. Okay, then second question, integration 0 to 1, x into 1 minus x square whole power of n dx. Okay, this is the important uh, and uh, easy question okay in every case it or ap set and other uh, state entrance examinations definitely one or two questions asked uh, based on uh, definite integrals and their properties okay definite integral properties okay and uh, this is the question integration 0 to 1 x 1 minus x square whole power of n dx in place of 1 minus x square we take uh, we put uh, t we get uh, x dx is equal to minus 1 by 2 dt okay in place of 1 minus x square we put t and x dx uh, minus 1 by 2 t and also we change the limits x is equal to 0 we get t value is 1 and x is equal to 1 we get t value is 0 and we putting these all values uh, we get 
like this minus 1 by 2 integration to 1 to 0 t power of n dt this is equal to minus 1 by 2 and integration of t power of n is t power of n plus 1 by n plus 1 uh, 1 to 0 we are applying uh, upper limit minus lower limit we get t in place of t we put 0 we get 0 minus in place 1 we get 1 by n plus 1 uh, we get 1 by 2 times of n plus 1 and then which option is correct option c is the correct option option c is the correct option okay then third question if p is greater than 0 and alpha belongs to real number then limit n tends to infinity n power of alpha by 1 plus uh, p whole power of n okay this is the very simple problem okay and uh, uh, we know that we apply the limit we get infinity by infinity form okay after applying uh, uh, limit we get infinity by infinity form then maximum students now we have go to apply the l last petal rule here okay we apply the first of all we apply the l last petal rule what we get uh, integration of n4 of alpha is alpha n4 of alpha minus 1 by here we get, apply the um, integration what we get this is in the form of like this a4 of n what is the differentiation of a4 of n what we get here a4 of n into log a yes or no like this here also 1 plus p whole power of n log 1 plus p only okay like this we apply the again limit we get again infinity by infinity form only then we differentiate this so this goes on okay we not get uh, we not get the correct answer and uh, uh, we you, you wasting the your time also okay but this is the not approach for this question uh, we know that uh, this is connected with the sequence concept okay if you get any um, limit problem like this we apply the direct apply this theorem okay we apply the ratio theorem for se sequences okay let uh, sequence a and b uh, let a and b sequence uh, such that a n is not equal to 0 for all n and such that the limit L is equal to limit n tends to infinity a n plus 1 by a n. Okay, then if L is less than 1, this is converging to 0. And uh, if L is greater than 1, this is converging to uh, infinity, that is divergent. Okay, this is divergent. Convergent to infinity means divergent or unbounded. Okay, the that means the limit value is limit extends xn is equal to 0 we take here a n okay a n is equal to 0 and limit l l is greater than 1 then uh, yeah, the sequence a n is infinite or divergent or unbounded okay this is the concept be behind this uh, problem okay l is equal to limit n test to infinity uh, we consider uh, this as uh, a n okay sequence a n okay then l is equal to limit n tends to infinity n plus 1 whole uh, here uh, we take n plus 1 okay n plus 1 what we get here n plus 1 in place of n we take n plus 1 only okay n plus 1 whole, whole power of alpha by 1 plus p whole power of n plus 1 into a n by a n means n plus 1 plus p whole power of n by n power of alpha uh, we we take uh, n common here we get n power of alpha plus 1 plus 1 by n whole power of alpha and here n power of alpha n power of alpha get cancels and 1 plus p whole power of n and 1 plus p whole power of n get cancels okay uh, basis are same we add powers okay by using this concept um, we write down like this one this uh, write down like this 1 plus p whole power of n into 1 plus p okay this this get cancelled and this is get cancelled we apply the limit n tends to infinity 1 by infinity value is 0 1 per of alpha is 1 then 1 by 1 plus p okay that means 1 by 1 plus p is less than 1 okay they clearly given here p is greater than 0 that means we take p value is 1 2 3 and so on okay we get um, the value is uh, less than 1 we apply the limit n tends to up we apply the infinity also in place of p we take uh, infinity we get 1 by infinity value is 0 that is 0 also less than 1 okay yes or no that means that uh, that uh, given limit 
the given limit this limit is converging to zero then which option is correct option a is the correct option okay this concept is very important the okay you you have to learn that uh, concept because that is very important and many exams uh, in many exams uh, they ask the uh, questions based on that concept okay if f of z is equal to sin z plus e power of 3 z then uh, do f of z by do z bar okay this is the concept of uh, complex analysis okay we have to uh, differentiate partially with respect to z conjugate okay in the f of z there is no term z z conjugate that is z bar there is no term of z bar uh, therefore the partial derivative with respect we if you uh, differentiate partial with respect to z bar then other uh, other terms are constant okay there is no in this function there is no z conjugate therefore the answer is directly zero okay and uh, then next question is fifth question the re residue of f of z is equal to z square plus 3z plus 2 by z square uh, z minus 1 at z is equal to 0 is uh, option they given four options option a is 0 option b is minus 1 option c is 2 and option d is minus 5 this is the this is also from complex analysis and this is most important very 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 important uh, concept okay and very important problem also okay because uh, in every year and uh, uh, exams like K set, AP set and Kerala set and other uh, yeah, Maharashtra set and other uh, entrances uh, based on residue uh, residues uh, residues they ask the uh, one question definitely okay um, this is residue concept is we are useful for useful to find the um uh, complex integration also complex integration also this is the up uh, this is the many applications in complex analysis and uh, the, this is very important okay first we discussing uh, concept behind uh, residues first of all we have to learn three um, formulas if residue such that is equal to a, that we call as simple for suppose the uh, problems the problem is given like this okay f of z is given like this f of z is equal to 1 um, a z by z uh, um, suppose z and z minus 1 uh, the concept given like this okay first of all we have to uh, equate uh, denominator term into 0 z is equal to 0 and z minus 1 is equal to 0 what we get z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1 we get okay that means here uh, the roots we get what is the uh, values we get these values are different okay these values are different that times we call we use the uh, this formula ready uh, this uh, this we call as simple fold okay this we call as simple fold and that time we, we use the uh, this formula we take z is equal to 0 that means r1 is equal to and um, limit z tends to 0 z minus 0 and f of z and like that we z is equal to 1 means that is r2 is equal to limit z is equal to 0 sorry z is equal to 1 z minus 1 and f of z like this we use and find the residues of that particular pole okay and uh, suppose the residues at a pole of order n okay suppose the given um, values uh, are uh, similar that means same suppose we get the roots z is equal to 1 comma z is equal to 1 that means these are the uh, repeated roots are repeated that's why we use two times repeated that means uh, uh, the residues at a fall of order 2 okay order 2 that time we use the second formula residues at the z is equal to a that is equal to limit z is equal to a 1 by n minus 1 factorial d power of n minus 1 by dz uh, dz whole power of n minus 1 z minus a whole power of n uh, and f of z okay at uh, third formula is residues at infinity r is equal to limit z uh, z is equal to infinity minus z f of z these are the important formulas we have to remember okay the first of all we have the given problem is uh, we have to find the 
the residues at z is equal to zero and now we have to observe that here um, we have to equate this uh, to zero we get z is equal to zero that is z is equal to zero comma zero because the order of this is uh, two that means the uh, values are zero comma zero the poles are uh, zero comma zero okay that means two times this is repeated that means now we have to use the second formula okay at z is equal to zero limit z is equal to zero okay we are uh, where we find the z is equal to zero that means limit z tends to zero okay uh, one by n here n value is what here n value is two okay two minus one factorial was one factorial d by two minus one is one only that means d by dz okay one time we have to differentiate it z ma z minus zero all power of two and f of z the f of z uh, right down here and uh, we have now it cancel out this and this cancel out and we have to differentiate this uh, by using quotient formula we get like this and we apply the limit z, uh, z tends to zero in place of z we take zero we get minus one three minus two by one is equal to minus three minus two is equal to minus five we get the uh, answer as minus five then option d is the correct option correct option option d is the correct okay then next question is if an entire function f of z is bounded in absolute value for all z then f of z is uh, this is the very important uh, problem uh, this is important question because this is based on a uh, uh, theorem that is Leoli's theorem that is theorem uh, this theorem says that if an entire function f of z is bounded for all value of z then it is constant function that means what entire function plus bounded that implies constant function okay what is uh, first of all what is uh, entire function entire function means um, in co in complete complex uh, complex plane the function is differentiable the function is differentiable in complete complex plane that we call as entire function okay in otherwise we call like this also in complete complex planes the function is analytic in complete uh, complex plane the given function is analytic then we call as that function is entire function or uh, we simply uh, tell definition like this the the complete complex plane is differentiable then that is entire function okay okay that is entire function and we also um, uh, by the theorem entire function plus bounded that is implies con constant function and uh, we also called uh, we also state uh, like this also if f, f is regular in whole z plane and if mod of fz is less than k for all z then f of z must be constant these both are same regular means entire function only and um, mod f of z is less than k means what bounded definition for bounded this is the uh, definition of bounded okay these both are same okay we out and uh, i am giving uh, one more note also okay we have to uh, remember this note because important this is every every analytic sorry every entire function every entire function is analytic but every analytic function is not entire function okay this is very important note because in some exams ask like uh, directly ask uh, the this statement okay they are given uh, statements like this okay which of the following is true which of the following is true ask like this every uh, every entire function is analytic option a option b is every analytic function is uh, every analytic function is entire function okay like this they ask the options okay that time we have to remember this note every entire function is analytic entire means what entire function means what in in whole complex plane the given function is differentiable or differentiable or analytic in um, in complex analysis uh, uh, for differentiable we use the 
analytic only differentiable means what analytic okay okay remember this point very important okay then which option is correct option a is the correct option this is uh, directly based on uh, um, statement okay in integrating factor for the differential equation y dx plus x square y minus x dy is equal to 0 is the given four options x 1 by x 1 by x square e4 of x uh, first of all i am not here i am not using any concept of integrating factor i am giving simple trick we have to eliminate by using the options we have to eliminate this question uh, we have to uh, eliminate the options option through eliminate uh, this question okay first of all when we use the integrating factor okay uh, we know that exact differentiation concept okay if the uh, given differentiation is exact then we find the solution okay if the given differentiation is not exact then we have to find the integrating factor okay we are what is the uh, general form of exact differential equation m dx plus n dy is equal to zero this is the uh, general form of uh, exact differential equation and when uh, this uh, differential equation is exact m y and that means partial differentiation of m with respect to y and n x partial differentiation of n with respect to x these both are equal then that time we call that differential equation is exact differential equation it, suppose that both are not equal that we call as not exact differential equation these two are not equal then that is not exact differential equation that time uh, to find the solution we have to find the first of all you have to find the integrating factor of that differential equation okay this is the concept of uh, uh, this integrating factor first of all um, what is the area m what is here m dx coefficient is m that is y and what is n here n is dy coefficient that is x square y minus x okay how to find how to um, eliminate this uh, this uh, how to eliminate option through okay first of all we take suppose i am let i am considering uh, uh, integrating factor as x okay i am taking option a okay option a uh, i am considering integrating factor of x integrating factor is equal to x if this integra integrating factor is correct then uh, this uh, differential equation um, gives exact exactness okay i am multiplying with uh, this x with uh, this differential equation what we get here here m value we get x y and the n value we get we multiply with here x uh, we get x cube y minus x square we differentiate with a differentiate partial with respect to y what we get 3 and differentiate with, uh, with respect to x what we get 3x square y minus 2x these both are equal no these both are not equal therefore this is not integrating factor of this differential equation and option b okay integrating factor is equal to 1 by x suppose we multiply with this what we get m is equal to y by x and what we get n is equal to uh, divide 1 by x we get uh, x y minus 1 we differentiate partially with respect to y what we get 1 by x and we differentiate with respect to x what we get y y why we get both are equal no these both are not equal and we suppose i am considering c uh, integrating factor as a uh, 1 by x square by the option c we multiply 1 by x square throughout this differential equation what we get m value what we get y by x square and what we get n value uh, differentiate with respect to x uh, 1 by x square we get y minus 1 by x only okay then m y partially with respect to y what we get 1 by x square and n x what we get minus of differentiation of y is 0 and with respect to x what we get minus into minus 1 by x square minus minus plus n x is equal to 1 by x square these both are equal yes these both are equal m y is equal to n x therefore 100% option c is the integrating factor for this 
uh, in the, um, uh, this differential equation then option D also wrong okay the next question is the stationary function of integration 0 to 4 x y uh, x y dash minus y dash square dx subject to y of 0 is equal to 0 and y of 4 is equal to 3 is okay these are the four options okay method one i am here also i am uh, elim by going through options elimination okay method one what by using the formula euler's euler's formula okay what is method method two is trick based method okay here first of all if any question like integrate integration or differentiation or um, inte um, integral equations or uh, calculus of variation any problems given and they given uh, uh, they given uh, values they given uh, conditions they given condition then we have to put that conditions in options okay we have to eliminate it okay suppose i am uh, take considering this condition y of 0 is equal to 0 that means x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 put in this uh, in these options we take uh, y is equal to 0 that is 0 is equal to 1 by 2 0 x is 0 minus 1 that is 0 is equal to minus 1 by 2 no this is not equal therefore this is option is wrong and y is equal to 0 and 1 by 2 x is equal to 0 and this is plus 1 1 by 2 is equal to 0 no this is also wrong and uh, y is equal to 0 1 by 2 and x is equal to 0 x is equal to 1 by 4 1 by 4 and x is equal to 0 here x equal to 0 that means 0 is equal to 0 okay this is possible is there and uh, y is here put here y is equal to 0 1 by 4 0 minus 0 that is 0 that means 0 is equal to 0 this is also possible is there that time we consider second condition y of 4 is equal to 3 that means uh, x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 3 we take uh, okay what we get here uh, y is equal to 3 is equal to 1 by 4 and 4 4 square uh, 4 square is 16 6 into the 32 uh, 32 plus uh, 4 36 we get we divide 36 4 divides to 9 3 is uh, equal to 9 no this is not equal then we check this also what we get uh, 3 is equal to 1 by 4 into x square x square what is 4 square 4 square what is 4 square 16 minus uh, 4 that is uh, 16 minus 4 is 12 by 4 that is 4 into 4 3 is a yes 3 3 is equal to 3 yes this is equal therefore option D is the uh, correct option like this we solve the uh, problems okay this is the uh, total 8 problems of this video I hope you like the uh, this video and uh, uh, and also you share this uh, video to your friends and su uh, subscribe my channel and support uh, you give me support uh, give me your support and i will upload uh, more videos like this okay uh, thanks for watching uh, if you like the video please subscribe my channel thank you